Hi, in this video I want to show you how to install SysRaptor, how to configure it, how to set up a web server and how to do updates. Let's start at the documentation, at setup, prerequisites. You see we need uh, the latest Ubuntu, we need 4 GB of RAM and the latest Docker version which should be the official Docker. You can install it via the official Docker installation guide. Let's go to the installation page. Uh, we install from script and these are the prerequisites. You can install them via apt install. And for the installation we have uh, the professional installation for which you need a license key. And we also have the community uh, where you can just download the install script and pipe it to bash. You can install community and later add your license key. The software is basically the same. So we will copy this command and paste it to our command line and installation starts. This is now downloading SysRaptor from GitHub. We'll unpack it and start pulling the base images for Docker and building the Docker images. This might take a few minutes and in the meantime we will have a look at the documentation what happens during the manual installation that you get an idea what the installation script does. In fact we're downloading from GitHub, uh, we're changing directory to the deploy directory. This uh, there you find an app.env example. We copy that example uh, and this is the file where your environment variables will be. We can have a look uh, what that looks like. Let's go to deploy and have a look at app.env. Um, here we have uh, our environment variables like the Django secret key, uh, the encryption keys for data at rest. You don't necessarily need the encryption keys, uh, but if you don't uh, specify them in your app.env file, data at rest in the database and also the assets like images will not be encrypted on the server. Let's go back what happens here. We need to generate a secret key. This is done with OpenSSL. Um, this is done automatically in the script. Same for encryption keys. This is your command to generate your encryption key. If you have a professional license, you can add your license key here. We need to create the Docker volumes that hold your data and then bring up the Docker containers. We have two different commands here, one for professional and one for community. The difference is that there is a docker compose override file. This executes an additional container for spell checks and if you run this command uh, you will bring up one additional container which you don't need because you can't use spell check in community edition anyway. And then your docker containers are up and running. You still need to create a user. Uh, there is no default user so you can create uh, like username. This is our default user in the script, Raptor, and then execute docker compose exec, use the Django manage pi to create a super user with your username and then uh, you will be asked for the password. You will also uh, like to have some demo data, like you will not like to uh, start from scratch your designs. Uh, you can import only the designs by copying these uh, commands and importing, downloading and importing the designs to your installation. Let's have a look how it's going with our automatic installation script. Uh, it's done. Uh, everything was imported. The initial user was created uh, and we have username and password for initial login. We can go back to the documentation and on the setup web server we have two options, caddy and nginx. We recommend caddy because that's really easy and straightforward. Um, we can copy the docker compose contents, cre let's create a new directory called caddy, create a docker compose, add the contents here. 
And what is important now is we have a command here which says caddy reverse proxy from HTTPS your domain. Here we need to add our domain which is demo.sysrep.com uh, and the port to localhost 8000. This is our reverse proxy and the cool thing about caddy is that it will uh, handle uh, it will act as a web server and it will handle let's encrypt certificates automatically. Caddy has started and we should uh, be able to access, this, access it from public internet. Let's see what the logs say. Um, it looks good, successfully downloaded available certificate chains. So it seems like we have a valid certificate for our web server. We of course need to make sure that port 443 and port 80 are available to public internet because port 80 is required to uh, acquire the Let's Encrypt certificate. Let's go to demo.sysrepto.com and we can log in using the username Raptor and now scroll back to uh, the part where we were told the password copy it, log in, and now we could set up multi-factor authentication, but we skip this for now and we have successfully logged on. Let's have one more look to the configuration of Sysreptor. We now have the configuration chapter here where we describe all available options that you can set in your app.env file, like the Django secret key, uh, or the data encryption keys, um, debug mode and so on. Let's have a look at this one. This is required if you want to uh, use multi-factor authentication using uh, WebOutN uh, or Fido2. Uh, this requires that the server knows where he's reachable, so the domain that he's reachable. It's uh, like sysreptor.example.com, we can use uh, or we can copy this setting, uh, go into our sysreptor folder, employ and edit our app.env. We will just add this here and our domain is demo.sysreptor.com we quit and now we have to restart the container which can be done for the community edition using this command. Bring it up and now the new setting uh, should be uh, available in the project and we can have a look. Uh, go to profile, security, add multi-factor authentication, we can use a security key and set up our security key for multi-factor authentication. Let's have one more look how to do updates. Updating is quite simple. We have a file here in this de deploy directory, which is env, um, where our version is stored and I will edit this version now um, because if this is not the latest version, Sysreptor can detect this that there is another version remote and will uh, do the update. And in your Sysreptor folder you have a shell script which is update which you can use for updating your installation which basically does the same thing as uh, the installation script. We'll unpack it, rebuild it, bring up your containers again. We can switch directory and have a look what happened here. This is the folder where you find your new installation and we also create a backup of your old installation. We also copy the app.env to your updated version because you need this to decrypt, for example, your data at rest. You see we tried to make everything as easy as possible. If you have any questions, you can 
uh, drop us an issue at GitHub or uh, engage in our GitHub discussions. Thanks and bye bye.